Hey guys, this is Alyssa. I help introverted moms clear their space and schedules so we can live our best lives now and not have to wait till the kids are gone. Today, we're going to talk about life editing. Do you ever wish you could just start over in life? Tell me below, yes or no. So, number one, definition of insanity. Doing things the same way and expecting a different outcome, right? We've all heard this. So, where are you doing that in your mom life? In your meal prep? Maybe your meal planning routine? Your kid's bedtime routine that hasn't been working for months on end. Why are you doing the same thing over and over again and thinking maybe this time it'll be different? Number two, now that you know those trouble spots where something needs to change. What if life by itself is too hard? Okay, that's fine. Then that means something needs to be deleted. Period. End of story. I don't care if you feel like you should be able to hack it right now. The point is, you're not. It feels too heavy. Something needs to go. You can choose what you want to ditch. You could say, I'm ditching the meal planning. I'm going to have someone pay and have someone else plan it all out for me. You could choose to ditch the meal prepping, buy the pre-chopped ingredients at the store. You could choose to ditch the meal cooking and get the takeout on the pre-made meals. You get to choose though. That's the other point. Don't say, Ugh, I should be able to do everything. This is not working. I should be able to do everything and just keep on that rat race treadmill, okay? So you choose what you want to delete. This is now, it is not forever. Drop something, please. Now, pruning your life to make space is always going to yield results. It may grant you that necessary white space to breathe, or it may just turn up even more rocks that need to be dealt with. But either way, it's important to your overall end goal of success in life, right? So make sure you're building in that reflection time, white space, to let things come up. And if you notice you're just kind of constantly boiling up with more and more, you can deal with them, you know, important reminders that you for forgot and fallen through the cracks. But at a certain point, you're going to say, okay, I need to have more of this reflection time because clearly things are not getting dealt with. My brain is too busy. I need more processing time. I need more slowdown time. I need something. So give yourself even more margin if you're constantly finding your brain on frazzle, scurry, hairy Okay, what I want to do to help you is I want you to go to yourbusylife.com slash blog, scroll down the right hand sidebar until you see time for you too, a free e-course just for you, because this is going to walk you through how to give yourself the gift of time every single day. If you've not been used to spending nap time on yourself, this is going to walk you through all the baby steps to get there. All right, I'll put the link to time for you too in the description below as well. Okay, have a great day guys.